Oh yeah. Those things are high in magnesium. It's a cute little guy. It's a good feeling when the sun is back. We lay down our nation floor. <gasps> I made a pit stop to get some uh, diesel fuel for my heater because I burned through eh, a fair bit of it in the last few days. Um, anyway, I'm all topped up. <clears throat> Mark has just come back from the washroom. Hey, buddy. All set? Mm -hmm, nice bottle. That? It's a nice pee bottle. Okay. Yeah. Brand new. Yeah. Non stinky version. Oh yeah! Oh wow! That was good to be here. Yeah. Oh sweet! These things are maple blossoms, and I'm gonna have some. They're just coming out. Let's grab that one. Oh yeah. Sweet. So it's basically just yogurt. And then I've got some chia seeds and uh, cacao chips, blackberries and raspberries. That's it. Those things are high in magnesium, which is a supplement that I usually take with this stuff. But uh, in any case, that stuff's pretty good for that sort of thing. So yeah, essentially this is a maple tree and it's got, there's another one back there. And those ones are all further along than this one, but you can eat those little flowers. These ones are a little bit bigger. So you see the baby maple leaves coming out right here. And then these are the flowers. I'm gonna pick one off just to give you a close up. So, you see the little dark section right in the middle of the green flower? Essentially, that means it's been fertilized and it's gonna produce a seed there. Essentially, that's what the seed turns into, like this. So, that works like a feather, and that little ball at the bottom, that's the seed. So, when it falls off, I didn't do it, but it, it sometimes spins and it catches the wind and it floats away. In any case, uh, that was a nice addition to the yogurt. Um, I've seen them popping up all over town in Victoria and I just, I've been so busy with Nick's van that I haven't stopped to take advantage of that. So I was really glad just to have a, a taste of them. I really wanted to do a foraging video where I went and got a whole bunch of those and I wanted to show you a couple ways to prepare them. Personally, I like using them in salads or in a cereal, just like that, or um, in smoothies. What else are they? Uh, oh yeah, the probably the most approachable way to have them is to make maple fritters. So you take the flour with a little stem and you dip it into pancake batter, and then you fry it in a frying pan, you add some maple syrup to it, and it is really good. here. I'm probably gonna just sit and relax for a while this morning. <laughs> All right. Ooh. Mark's awake now. <laughs> He's out there taking it all in right now and it's a magical place for that. I kind of want to do the same thing, but I gotta catch up and get you guys a video out. It's been a while. All this work on Nick's van, and it's just it's got me really cooped up. But it's, it's painful.
paying the bills. So that's, that's important. It's a nice little recharge, isn't it? Dungeness shell. There's a little guy. It's a little shore crab. <clears throat> There's. Oh, these are. I think these are green crabs, actually. Let's see. Oh no, that's a shore crab. Oh, it's a cute little guy. Yow! <laughs> It is so nice to have sunshine again. My solars are working. My battery is at nearly 100%. It's a good feeling when the sun is back. Uh, all winter long, I've been sitting still a lot, you guys. have been My van has been parked in Nick's backyard for most of the winter, which has been a great. It's been a blessing. I got a lot of stuff done while I was there. And um, But because I wasn't driving, I had to plug in the shore power a lot. And that shore power charger system that I put in my van is working really well. Um, all of that is taken care of over at Nick's place this winter, so. But yeah, it's really nice to have three ways to charge the van. In the summertime, I really love it because I'm practically full. My, my batteries are full all summer long. It's really nice. Anyway, uh, Mark is just sitting back there in his van getting his fishing license together. And then we're going to go over here to the Staples, just back there and go print it off. And uh, we got Tim's this morning too, which is an extra special thing. Oh my gosh. It's still quite hot. Anyway guys, yeah, we're uh, getting ready. I don't know if we're going fishing, but I figured I'll help him out and uh, get his fishing license for him. So maybe that'll encourage him, but I know he's got stuff he needs to take care of that that's probably just a bit more important than fishing. I totally understand, but we'll go fishing eventually. I don't know if it's gonna be soon, but it could be later. I don't know. Man, what a horror deal that was. It was just trying to get them printed off in his staples and there was a big line up in there, people doing shipping and stuff like that too. But, uh, and then I had to go in there twice and the printer wasn't working. Anyway, it's all sorted out. So. Um, we're just on our way to John's place, J5 Custom Vans, so that's John and Louise. And Van City Van Life is over there right now too, so we're all gonna hook up and go get a bite to eat. Um, just at a little pub nearby. So that'll be fun. Oh, hello. Hi. I missed you too. Hi. Oh yeah. Hurt you. You're excited. You're excited. Hey, girl. Hey, girl. What are you doing? Hello. 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 Vagrants coming. No. A couple vagrants Boys. coming. Boys. Oh. Lay down a nice and floor. Oh. Whoa. Damn. Oh, that the is. Bottom side of my water cabinet. Now this thing's got some room. Oh yeah. And they yeah, say you anchored that better into the wall. 
trimmed out the floor nicely. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah. You might have to change those stainless at some point. They're gonna get rusty, but that's really nice. Wow. That's laminate. That's a nice improvement. Fresh out of J5 Custom Vans. This is a really good shop to come to, guys. Quite a setup here. Nice white van there. Hey, hello. It was good to see those guys. Chrome's taking off on his big trip. And I don't know exactly what I'm doing just yet. I'm gonna chat with Mark, but I could go over there to Salt Spring Island and go for uh, metal harvesting. I'd love to do some of that. And I could also go over to Port Renfrew, go down the coastline, maybe find some nettles over there too. Um, but just kind of like cruise down and sort of check out the western side. I do like that loop over that way. Maybe uh, stop and do some fishing and stuff like that. But uh, I do feel like it'd be nice to just take a couple days and not rush back to Nick's place. Um, although I am feeling rested up right now and I'm kind of like, well, I could go back and be productive on my van and do some stuff in there. So, but uh, I think I'm just gonna chill, chill for a couple more days. Didn't take you guys with the conversation, but we were we were catching up. Take care, buddy. See you on the next yeah. Good luck up there. Okay. He's uh he's heading up to work on his uh, new van up up island. He's got to go sort out a bunch of stuff in there, pull out a bunch of panels, gut it out essentially, and throw out most of it. Um, so he he wants to take care of that next couple days and sort of assess some personal stuff up there i don't know what i'm doing guys i'm gonna wrap this video up if you want to see what i'm doing check in on the next video but um it's just nice to spend a couple days hanging out with mark and seeing chrome and j5 custom vans and all that sort of thing but uh that's it so i don't know i could go over that way and i could do that or i could go over that way and i could do that both are going to be excited. We'll see you soon. Okay, bye for now. I still owe you guys a tool video. And I've been holding out because I've been emailing emails back and forth with some folks, possibly to do a collaboration. So I'm just kind of waiting to see what, what goes on there. But I don't want to wait too long because I, I really want to get that out there for you guys too. So anyway, 